live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida. It's the 25th annual Polk County Public Schools Video Awards Ceremony, featuring the creativity of over 5,000 students in 65 schools. We're able to showcase our students' work because of generous donations from Apple, Classlink, Lightspeed, the Polk Education Foundation, Camcor, Smiley's Audiovisual, Bomar Trophy Shop, Vista Audio, Men's Warehouse, and Victory Church. Introducing your marshals for this evening, Sarah Kilby from George Jenkins Sr. and Tony Ann Roy from Daniel Jenkins Middle Academy. And now your host for this evening, Kayla Hofen from Davenport School of the Arts and Bailey Nagel from Lake Gibson Sr. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 25th Annual Video Award Ceremony, the largest school event in Polk County Public Schools. Our 10 categories tonight will be presented by the 2017 Students of the Year. Let's give them a round of applause. As our Students of the Year take their seats, we need Jaden Thompson from Blake Academy and Jenna Huff from Auburndale Senior to come to the stage to present our first award. <laughs> Teachers, please remind our students of the year to come to the stage when it's their turn to present. Tonight, on this stage, we celebrate 25 years of student achievement in television production. From cameramen and editors to writers and on-screen talent, we all show true accomplishment. Each entry confirms that our students are the best in the country. <laughs> Throughout our video awards competition, we have received over 5,000 entries, recognized more than 75,000 students, and inspired a countless number of professional careers. Nine years ago, on this very stage, our guest speaker received the ITV Award for Best Female Solo Announcer. Since that time, she has gone on to earn her bachelor's degree in telecommunications with a specialization in broadcast journalism from the University of Florida. worked on the Emmy-nominated pregame show, The Football Fever, covered the Cleveland Indians during Major League Baseball's 2016 World Series, and is currently a sports reporter for ABC6, Fox 28, and Columbus, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Winter Haven High School graduate, Mrs. Kaylee Mizell Vargas. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to be here tonight. But before I get started thanking the people uh, that I wanna thank, I just wanna give a shout out to you guys for being here, for all the hard work that you put in this whole year to be at this award ceremony. So can I first start with just you guys giving yourself a round of applause. I'm so honored to be here tonight as the speaker. Um, I wanna thank the ITV staff. I wanna thank you guys for letting me be here. I wanna thank the school board for putting time and energy and money into this program that means so much to so many people. Um, as they mentioned my career, I am a sports reporter and I've done, I think, a decent amount in my career. Um, and I could never have gotten where I am without ITV, without being in Brigham Elementary, in Jewett Academy, in BDTV, in Winter Haven High School, I, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be where I am in my career if I hadn't heard five crucial lessons that I learned in ITV when I was younger. So I'm gonna talk about some of those lessons tonight. The first of which is 
never miss a deadline. And I think we can all understand why this lesson is so important, whether you go into journalism or whether you go into a completely different career. Deadlines are important. I'm sure you guys had deadlines for this and you had to meet them. And I'm sure some of you guys might have been up late at night finishing your projects and getting them in so that they could be the best that they could be. It's the same thing in the real world. There's a time that you have to be on air and that time is the deadline. The second thing that I learned throughout ITV is to be adaptable and innovative. Industries are changing, journalism is changing, media is changing, and we have to change with it. We have to continue to be creative, to push bounds, to talk about things that maybe aren't talked about. That's what being innovative means. I'm sure that when you guys were thinking about what projects you should do and the ideas that you can think of, you tried to think, I wanna do something different than any other school, because that's gonna put you a leg ahead. The same thing in your career, the same thing as you move forward in your life. You always have to be innovative and you always have to be adaptable to the ever-changing world, especially with technology. The third thing that I learned as an ITV student that's still applicable today is that it's never as bad as you thought and it's never as good as you remember. So, kind of humbles you a little bit. I'm sure that there have been times where you guys have made a mistake on camera or missed a cue. Um, technical difficulties are a real thing, they happen. Um, but it's never as bad as you think it is in the moment. And it's also never as good as you think it is because there's always something that you can learn when you play that video back and you watch it, whether from a technical standpoint or whether something that you personally could have done better if you're an on-air personality, there's always something that you can improve. So continue to do that every single day. Watch your stuff and remember, it's never gonna be as bad as you thought and it's never gonna be as good as you remember. The fifth thing that I learned is, oh, the fourth thing, I'm getting ahead of myself, is to take the time. So take the time to remember that extra battery, because that's important, or to clear your card, or to grab the tripod. Take the time to watch your video back just one more time. It's so important to take the time to do the little things right, because all those little things add up to a really great finished product. And the last thing that I learned is to remember the feeling. To remember the feeling where you are right now. To remember that you guys took all this hard work, so many hours, so many times of storyboarding, so many times of editing and getting it wrong and getting it wrong and then getting it right. Take all of that and remember that feeling. It doesn't matter if you win or lose tonight. It matters how you felt. You felt accomplished whenever you turned that in. That is the feeling that is gonna get you through the rest of your life. So whenever I'm having a tough time in my career, when I'm feeling frustrated or down, I look back and I remember nine years ago when I was on this stage. And I remember that feeling because it's that that's gonna get me through. It's that that's gonna move me forward and to get me through the tough time into the next career success that I'll have. You guys are gonna be so awesome. And you're gonna really excel and it's a lot in part because of the programs that you're in and the school board, I just want to give a special shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for, for making this happen for these kids, putting the time, energy, and money into this. It means so much to them. No matter what industry they go into, it's going to be important to them. So again, thank you guys so much for having me here. I do want to give a special shout out to my mentor and my mother, who was my ITV teacher in um, high school, Pam Mizell from Winter Haven. Thank you, Mom, for everything that you've done for me. Thank you, guys, and enjoy the award ceremony. Thank you, Kaylee. Let's get right to our first award, presented by the fabulous announcing team from Winter Haven Senior, Micah Sheeran and Lucas Reyna. In film, as in life, the briefest moments can leave the most lasting impression. And even though these films are only under 10 minutes long, they stay with us long after we watch. Here are the nominees for the best short film.
Kathleen, the SD card. Lake Alfred Adair, drowning in memories. Lake Gibson, unlikely heroes. Hewitt Academy, the path to success. Blake Academy, Simon's Teddy. Lakeland Highlands, a YouTuber's life. Stambaugh, detention squad. Crystal Lake, the lazy boy. Now presenting the ITV award for best middle school short film, Mr. Jaden Thompson from Blake Academy. Award goes to Kathleen Middle, the SD card. This is Kathleen Middle's first win and sixth nomination for short film. Hey, sorry, I forgot my SD card. Mr. Hero, he's a pretty laid back guy. Unless you forget the SD card. Unless you forget the SD card. What did you say? I, I forgot my SD card. Read the sign. I know, it's just that. The sign. I know, but before you leave, do you have the camera, tripod, XLR cables, microphone, SD card. What was that? SD card. Go to my office. You want? What do you say? <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for this award. Uh, we worked very hard on this short film. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, that's good. Congratulations, that's good. Kathleen Middle. Now let's meet the nominees for High School Short Film. Bartow, Perpetuals. Lake Gibson, Focus. Kathleen, Alienated. Auburndale, Intervention. Lake Region, The Dance. Ridge Community, Help. Winter Haven, Pushed. George Jenkins, Countdown. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Short Film, Ms. Jenna Huff from Auburndale Senior. And the ITV award goes to Auburnell High School. <laughs> this is Auburndale Senior's first win and ninth nomination for short film. Go ahead and get it off your chest. I don't have any problems. Do you mind explaining to me what these are? What are those? You're addicted to memes. It's absolutely crazy. And I can tell you this is an addiction because these three memes are only three of the half a million that I found in your backpack. Jared, I haven't been able to read a single page 
of 1984 without hearing your memes. Jared, I'm your friend, okay? But memes are destroying you. I was a little surprised to hear that the award didn't go to Moonlight, uh, just messing around. Um, I want to thank everybody who uh, worked on, on intervention with me, Jared, Michaela. Um, really, it, it's such an honor to be able to do this. Um, thank you to, I'm going to call you the Academy, but the County. Thank you so much for everything that you do and for giving us the opportunity to do this. So um, God bless you and God bless America, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> Long live memes. Congratulations, Auburndale. Please welcome to the stage the amazing announcing team from Lake Gibson Middle, Callie Brooks and Lisa Leontis. Dr. David Yates started the television production program as a way to spread academic knowledge through a more exciting medium. This category challenged schools to present a lesson in a core subject to foster student engagement in the classroom. Here are the nominees for the best instructional academic video. Stambaugh, make your mark on history. McLaughlin Academy, GPA, how do I pass? Crystal Lake, CLMS Book Club. Lake Academy. Fun ways to learn vocabulary. Jewett Academy. Learning is fun. Lake Alfred Adair. Teaching science using teenage vocab. Lake Gibson. Jury duty. Fort Meade. How to ITV. Kathleen. Lab safety. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Instructional Academic Video, Mr. Austin Rodriguez from Daniel Jenkins Academy. And the ITV Award goes to Lake Gibson, Lake Gibson Middle, Jerry Duty. This is Lake Gibson Middle's first win for instructional academic video. I really hate civics. It is so boring and I don't understand it at all. Order in the court. Where am I? You stand before us as being accused of not understanding SS.7.C.2.6. Huh? It means you're on trial for not analyzing the value of trial by jury, as well as the importance of jury service of your civic responsibilities. How do you plead your case? She's guilty, Your Honor. No, I swear I'm not guilty. Your Honor, this young lady fell asleep during civics class because she does not want to understand the importance of being judged by a jury of your peers. I object, Your Honor. There's no way my client doesn't understand the importance of civics. I really don't understand it, though. Never mind, Your Honor. As I was saying, she does not understand the importance of the jury at all. I bet, Your Honor, she does not know what a prosecutor is or what a defender is. She probably doesn't even know what they ought to do with the court. We are so lucky to be a part of such an amazing crew. Absolutely, and we'd like to thank our parents for giving us the opportunity to film outside of school and allowing us to pour our passion into video. We would also like to thank Mr. Stacy Hoskins for finding a time to let us into the Polk County Courthouse to film this project. Lastly, we'd like to give a huge thanks to our advisor, Ms. Setterberg, and the TSE News staff for filming, editing, and putting together this amazing film. We are so honored to accept this award, and we couldn't have done it without each other. Congratulations, Lake Gibson Middle. Now, let's meet the nominees for High School Instructional Academic Video. Kathleen, the Grammar Police. Ridge Community, it's lit. 
Winter Haven, reading is an adventure. George Jenkins, ecosystem. Lake Gibson, brave busters. Fort Meade, science. Auburndale, filmmaking is fun. Mulberry, academic promotional video. Now presenting the ITV award for best high school instructional academic video, Ms. Shelby Ward from Bartow Senior. And the ITV award goes to Kathleen Senior High School. This is Kathleen Senior's first win for instructional academic video. Nice. That's what my cat ate its food? That's not what I meant. It's versus it's. A classic mistake. There's a difference between it's and it's, girl. A hanging apostrophe. It's without an apostrophe is a possessive term, meaning that the subject belongs to something. But since you said it's with an apostrophe, you said your cat is food. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Can't wait to have dinner with my boy tonight. Gonna have steak, mashed potatoes, and salad. What? Think you're gonna have a good time with lover boy tonight? Huh? Not with that grammar. You see, when you forget the Oxford comma, it turns mashed potatoes and salad to mashed potatoes and salad. Bon appetit. It is an absolute honor to be accepting this award tonight. The first entry that I ever directed in TV productions was last year's academic promotional video. And although we didn't win, we learned a lot from the loss and we used it to guide us through the production this year. The story of this year's video went through a lot of transformations until we finally settled upon The Grammar Police, a fun, high pace, and of course, educational take on the show Law and Order. I hope you all enjoy the entry as much as we did. created it. This is my first time ever directing a category, and I, I appreciate all the hard work that was gone into this, and I had so much fun. I would like to, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate my actors and my crew for helping me with this category. And uh, I'd like to shout out my Flap News crew, Terrence and Larry. In the midst of a number of other projects, they pulled together to make this entry a success. We would also like to thank our wonderful advisor, Mr. Gash, for his support throughout the year. I would like to also thank the judges in ITV. Winning this category is a great honor and I will never forget it. Congratulations, Kathleen Sr. Please welcome to the stage the marvelous announcing team from Kathleen Sr. Peter Perez, and Gavin Hawthorne. Documentaries scour the globe to bring light to stories that have otherwise remained hidden. Their efforts uncover hidden beauty, give voice to the voiceless, and dare to speak powerful truths. Here are the nominees for Best Documentary. Daniel Jenkins Academy, the making of Muse at Nine. Blake Gibson, human trafficking, everyone's problem. Kathleen, turn around to triumph. Lake Alfred Adair, who stole the soul? Fort Meade, Super Cooper. Jewett Academy, behind the scenes. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Documentary, Mr. Sebastian Feliciano from Davenport School of the Arts. And the 
ITV award goes to Jewett Middle Academy, behind the scenes. This is Jewett Middle Academy's first win and 13th nomination for documentary. You may see a well put together news show every morning, but behind the scenes, it's a whole new world. There's a lot of work that happens behind the camera. You see a few people anchoring or reporting, but there are crew members working diligently behind the scenes to capture what is happening around our campus. There is a lot of creating and planning that goes into producing a show each day. Just for one project for the show, students have to create an idea, write a script, and storyboard for their thoughts. Students have to film, edit, and sometimes refilm their projects. During the editing process, there is a voiceover work, music choices, special effects, and graphics that help the story come alive. Now let's hear from the leading crew. I'm the producer of our school's news show, and basically what I do is I compile all the anchors' work and different class periods. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is such an honor, and we just want to thank Mrs. Fountain for everything she does for us, and we would like to thank our school for allowing us to do this. So thank you. Congratulations. Now let's meet the nominees for Best High School Documentary. Mulberry, Smile. George Jenkins. Human Trafficking. Winter Haven, Cell Phones. Tenorock, Comics vs. Movies. Kathleen, Put to the Test. Lake Gibson, Inside Lakeland. Lake Region, Women in STEM Fields. Fort Meade, Migrant Students. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Documentary, Ms. Catherine Corelli from George Jenkins Sr. And the ITV Award goes to Winter Haven Sr. <laughs> This is Winter Haven Senior's fifth win and 15th nomination for documentary. Nicholas, Elena, could you please get off your phones? I'm on level 30. I'm almost done. Chill. Ugh. Just, just one second. This group chat is blowing up. Whatever, Elena. Seriously, Mom and Dad? You're like 50 years old. Your only friends are each other. Who are you even texting? Um, actually, I'm 49, and I have a lot of friends. I'm trying to catch up. I'm texting your mother. This is ridiculous. Cell phones are such a distraction. My family can't even get through one meal together without staring at their phones the whole time. It's ridiculous. What could possibly be? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Wow, it's such an honor to win this award and to have all of our hard work pay off. When we started this documentary, all we had was an idea. But though great teamwork and determination, we made it, an idea into a, we made it our idea into a documentary that we hope can make a difference. We could go on about it, but before we get played off, we'd just like to thank Ms. Mizell for giving, guiding us and giving us the ability to create a great project, our friends and family for help and support, and of course, all of BDTV. Thank you all. Congratulations, Winter Haven. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that encourages active participation in government elections. Each year, they hold a video contest, which our students actively participate in. Here to announce the winner is Lisa Miller. Good evening, I'm very happy to be here tonight along with the president of the local League of Women Voters, Dr. Trudy Rankin. 
We're excited about this opportunity and we participate annually. So if you did not participate this year, we're looking for your videos next year. Each year we give a different topic that concentrates on voters and voter participation. Usually we encourage people to register to vote. But since we've just had an election, this year's topic was, now you voted, now what? Civic and political participation. I'm here to announce the winner, the first place winner for this tonight, along to present a check for $700 and this amazing trophy. Tonight's winner for a first place for 2017 contest vote and this check for $700 is Take Action, submitted by Jermaine Joseph from Winter Haven High School. I am a soldier. I am an artist. I am a senior citizen. I am a teenager. I am a child. I am gay. I am a woman. I am black. I am homeless. I am an American. And as an American, it's our civic duty to register to vote. And as an American, we have a voice. To make a difference in someone else's life. Make a difference in your community. Don't give up your right to make a change. And to make a change, we have to take action. How, you might ask? Well, we've already told you to vote, but there are many other ways to make your voice heard. You can participate in a political campaign. Communicate with our government officials. Write letters to the editors, to the selected officials, to social media sites. It's our right. No, it's our responsibility. So if you do nothing, you don't have the right to say anything. Honestly, I didn't know I was gonna win. I didn't prepare a speech or anything, but we are very happy to come in first place. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations. Please welcome to the stage the stunning announcing team from Jewett Middle Academy, Elias Santiago and Ellie Marshall. When we watch television and film that we so enjoy, we often forget the tireless efforts of those behind the scenes. These unsung heroes are the students who strive each and every day to make these videos come to life through editing, cinematography, and script writing. Here are the nominees for Technical Mastery. McLaughlin Academy, We Three Expo Video, Daniel Jenkins Academy, Equality, Kathleen, Ellen, Lakeland Highlands, Digital Footprint, Lake Academy, Word of the Week, Strategic. Lake Gibson, B. Jewett Academy, You Can Do This. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Technical Mastery, Ms. Casey Gabriel from Jewett Middle Academy. And the ITV award goes to Blake Academy Middle, Word of the Week, Strategic. This is Blake Academy's first win for Technical Mastery.
Of course it is. Uh, uh, Honestly, I don't know what to say because we didn't really plan on winning this, but I just want to thank Mr. Barber for helping us with this project, and I want to thank Ms. Odom for letting our school have a video production class. Congratulations. Now, let's meet the nominees for High School Technical Mastery. Blake Gibson, Fly. Auburndale, Think Twice. Fort Meade, Mockumentary, Vertically Challenged. Winter Haven, Masterpiece. George Jenkins, ENN Promo. Lake Region, Loss of Focus. Kathleen, Hunted. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Technical Mastery, Mr. Austin Holloway from Kathleen Senior. And the ITV Award goes to Kathleen Senior! This is Kathleen Senior's first win for Technical Mastery. There he is! Get him! It is a great honor to accept this award. With the introduction of this new category, we were excited to show off our technical skills in a way that will capture the audience's attention and... Oh. <laughs> 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 and also tell a fun story. Pulling off some of these shots and effects were no easy task, and they forced us to be creative and learn new skills. I would like to thank the amazing crew for their help, Mr. Gasher's guidance during difficult moments of production, my family for their support, and my lead actor, Brandon, for his commitment to the role. Thanks, Al. <laughs> <laughs> although, although I'm not a part of the Initiative TV crew, I work with them and I watch them make these amazing films. So whenever they asked me to play the main star, I knew I had to bring my A game. I'd like to thank Alan for being the amazing director he always was. I'd like to thank Mr. Gash for being the amazing mentor he was to me. I'd like to thank my parents for allowing me to stay after school after all those hours. I'd like to thank my brother for being the awesome bro he is. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to thank God, because without him, none of these blessings will happen to my life. God bless. We'd also like to give a shout out to the students who work tirelessly behind camera. Whether it be directing, filming, editing, graphic design, lighting, or any other uh, technical skill that makes a video shine. It is the technical skills that <laughs> it is the technical skills that complement those in front of the camera and bring a production together. Thank you. Congratulations, Kathleen Senior. As prestigious as video awards is, our schools also compete on a state and national level. Please join us in congratulating our schools who bring Polk County's standard of excellence to the rest of the country.
congratulations, everyone. And now, it's an honor to welcome to the stage the superintendent of Polk County Public Schools, Mrs. Jacqueline Bird. Thank you. Good evening, and welcome to the Video Awards. For over 25 years, Polk County Public Schools has been the leader in television production education in Florida. What you see on this stage tonight is just a small sample of what our students produce each and every day. Whether they are working on a documentary, news show, or a music video, students showcase their creativity and grasp the 21st century skills needed by today's multimedia industry. On behalf of the Polk County Public Schools, thank you to our teachers, parents, for your unwavering support for our students. Without your guidance and encouragement, tonight would not be possible. And students, I would like to congratulate you all for your hard work and dedication, which make this large, makes this the largest showcase of student-produced work in the nation. Give yourselves a round of applause. Students, your work is not, nothing short of amazing. We are so proud of your accomplishments and look forward to seeing what else you achieve in the future. Congratulations. Thank you, Superintendent Bird. Please welcome to the stage the astonishing announcing team from Lake Region Senior, Stephanie Bautista and Donya Skipper. Throughout history, there have been many great teams, like Sonny and Cher, Timon and Pumbaa, and of course, Taylor Swift and whomever she's dating at this moment. Our nominees are no different. As you hear your name being called, please come up to the front of the stage to be recognized. Here are the nominees for the best announcing team. Lake Alfred Adair, Destiny Miller and Ciara Williams. Daniel Jenkins Academy, Tony Ann Roy and Austin Rodriguez. Fort Meade, Braden Salevo and Lizangela Oleman. Lake Gibson, Callie Brooks and Lisa Leontos. Kathleen, Haley Campos and Courtney Croca. Citrus Ridge Academy, Anna Gonzalez and Anissa Batista. Jewett Academy, Elias Santiago and Ellie Marshall. Lake Academy, Lila Bose and Trinity Metz. Lakeland Highlands, Juliana Rivera and Megan Lapierre. Davenport School of the Arts, Bailey Cotton and Marissa Sullivan. Stanbaugh, Emily Willis and Navante Donovan. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Announcing Team, Ms. Caitlin Wilson from McLaughlin Middle Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the best middle school announcing teams in the nation. <laughs> Maestro, drum roll please as our Student of the Year announces our winner. Duet Middle Academy. This is Jewett Middle Academy's fourth win and ninth nomination for announcing team. Ice cream. You scream. We, we all scream, scream for ice cream. cream. We're here at 703 3rd Street in Winter Haven, Florida at Andy Siglu. Andy Siglu is open Monday through Saturday and serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have the best ice cream I've ever tasted. As a matter of fact, Elias, Andy Ziegler won the Best People's Award from 2016 from the Ledger for the best ice cream in Polk County. Not only do they serve the best ice cream, they also serve burgers, milkshakes, and fries. This restaurant was first established. Okay. Um, 
we would like to thank our parents for all they've done for us this year, and I'd like to thank my brother, Miss Fountain, Andy Ziglu, and all of our friends at the school that have been there to support us the whole time, and my partner in crime, Elias. I don't think I would have been able to done it without him. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Jewett. Now let's meet our nominees for Best High School Announcing Teams. Ridge Community, Jaden Dixon and Brandon Hart. Auburndale, Clay Bennett and Michaela Carmody. East Area Adult, Rowan Williams and Betty Richardson. Lake Region, Stephanie Bautista and Dania Skipper. Lake Gibson, Juan Ramos Perez and Bailey Nagel. Kathleen, Peter Perez and Gavin Hawthorne. Winter Haven, Micah Sheeran and Lucas Reyna. Fort Meade, Kirsten Ayers and Cameron Bryant. George Jenkins, Emilia Wilson and Kayla Doherty. Now presenting the ITV award for best high school announcing team, Mr. Juan Ramos Perez from Lake Gibson Senior. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the best high school announcing teams in the nation. Maestro, drum roll please as our student of the year announces our winner. And the ITV award goes to Kathleen Senior. This is Kathleen Senior's third win and 11th nomination for announcing team. Since 1916, the Lakeland Fire Department has protected and served the city of Lakeland. These firefighters are brave souls willing to put everything on the line for our safety. Their lives revolve completely around protecting us at moment's notice. So today, Peter and I are living the life of a firefighter. A lot of people think all firefighters do is fight fires, but most of their spare time is spent on standby. And during that time, there is still plenty to do. So while we didn't actually get a chance to fight fires, we did get to see their routine. Uh, accepting this award for a second time is a true honor and facing this award two years in a row brought a lot of challenges. We had to think of new and hot, fresh ideas for the judges to, you know, pick us, I guess. <laughs> Announcing team is a very special category to me, and it's an honor to win it with my best friend here. Through sickness, tiredness, and complicated job schedules, and countless other projects, we were able to pull our segments together. I'd like to thank my anchor partner here, Peter, for helping out, especially when I was sick for three weeks during competition season. We would like to give, give a huge thanks to the fire department, Sergeant Lindsay and all their staff over there. Thank you guys so much for letting us do a day in the life with y'all. We also like to, I like to thank my parents for allowing me to dedicate so much to this program. The awesome, amazing, I cannot even say enough words for this crew. The TV crew, you guys, none of this will be happening without you guys. Thank you so much. Take care of business. Congratulations, Kathleen Sr. Please welcome to the stage the impressive announcing team from Winter Haven Senior, Micah Sheeran and Lucas Reyna. Katie Couric was the first female to solo host a primetime news program, and she has paved the way for other industry females striving to make their mark. This year, our female announcers have lifted the lid of expectations. Don't blink or you'll miss some great performances. Once your name is called, please come to the stage. And now here are the nominees for Best Female Announcer. Kathleen, Bailey Hawthorne. Daniel Jenkins Academy, Yuritzi Gonzalez. Blake Academy, Chelsea Chalou. Jewett Academy, Ellie Marshall. Lakeland Highland, Autumn Novotny. Lake Alfred Adair, Daniela Aguilar. Fort Meade, 
Catherine Fletcher. Stambaugh, Alicia Huggins. Blake Gibson, Alyssa Sutterberg. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Female Announcer, Ms. Guadalupe Huerega from Lake Alfred Adair Middle. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the best middle school female announcers in the nation. Maestro, drum roll please, as our Student of the Year announces our winner. And the ITV award goes to Blake Academy Middle, Chel Chel Chelsea Chaluska. I'm sorry. This is Blake Academy's first win and third nomination for female announcer. Hello, Blake Academy. I'm Chelsea with today's feature. As you can see, I'm on the stage where many of our Blake Academy students will be this Thursday. We had a chance to talk to Ms. Salas about Blake Academy's upcoming production, Willy Wonka. Let's go see what she has to say. It is very rewarding, but it is very Thank you, Ms. Salas, for your work with Blake Academy students to make something wonderful. I hope to see you this Thursday at Blake Academy's production, Willy Wonka. I'm thrilled to accept this award on behalf of Chelsea. She couldn't be here tonight. Um, She's actually not even in our video production class. The fact that she's able to participate is a testimony to the teamwork that um, the students put into it. They coordinate schedules. They make sure everything is done. I couldn't be more proud of the students at Blake. Great job. Congratulations. Now let's meet the nominees for Best High School Female Announcer. Mulberry. Ariel Gortman. Barto, Joy Amy. Kathleen, Brianna McKinney. Lake Region, Giselle Perez. Auburndale, Jenna Huff. Lake Gibson, Bailey Nagel. Winter Haven, Abby Jordan. Bridge Community, Maya Gonzalez. George Jenkins, Maria Chinsinski. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Female Announcer, Mr. Anthony Hershey from Lake Region Senior. Ladies and gentlemen, May I present the best high school female announcers in the nation. Maestro, drum roll please as our student of the year announces our winner. The ITV award goes to Kathleen Senior. This is Kathleen Sr.'s third win and 13th nomination for Female Announcer. Welcome to the Museum of Science and Industry. Here you can create a bolt of lightning, discover the scientific revelation that is 3D printing, and learn all about your health and body. But it doesn't stop there. With over 450 different hands-on activities, Mosey has the biggest science center in the southeastern United States. I'm Brianna McKinney, and I'll be your guide to the wonderful world of science. This establishment has been... Okay. <laughs> well, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, creating five competition-worthy segments was no easy task. And if there's one thing that I've learned throughout this entire process, it's that the title can be very misleading. Female solo is definitely not something I could have done on my own. So I would like to thank Austin Holloway, Yamil Sosa, S.I.E. Garcia, and Peter Perez. Y'all were there to help me with whatever I needed, no matter what time of day or night it was. I would also like to thank everyone who took part in each of my clips. 
I honestly can't express the amount of joy that I'm overcome with right now. I'm pretty much shaking. Um, I've been thinking about this moment since I first auditioned to become Kathleen's female solo. So thank you, thank you again. I will cherish this moment forever. <laughs> Congratulations. Please welcome to the stage the spectacular announcing team from Lake Gibson Middle, Callie Brooks and Lisa Leontis. From Walter Cronkite's coverage of the Apollo moon landing to Tom Brokaw's coverage of the election of America's first African-American president, every major event in recent history has been covered by news anchors. Through professionalism, poise, and journalistic ability, our male anchors have raised the standard by which these legends and all other anchors are measured. As you hear your name called, please come to the front of the stage to be recognized. Here are the nominees for Best Male Announcer. Kathleen, Ian Pennypacker. Blake Academy, Josiah Lowe. Jewett Academy, Cade Rayburn. McLaughlin Academy, Jonathan Cooper. Daniel Jenkins Academy, Tayden Kresminski. Stambaugh, Devante Donovan. Lake Gibson, Jaden Smith. Fort Meade, Braden Salaveo. Lake Alfred Adair, Jarek Hutchinson. Lakeland Highlands, Chase Moore. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Male Announcer, Mr. Dawson Reed from Lake Gibson Middle. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the best middle school male announcers in the nation. Maestro, drum roll please as our student of the year announces our winner. And the ITV award goes to Lake Gibson Middle, Jaden Smith. This is Lake Gibson Middle's eighth win and 19th nomination for male announcer. Oh, uh, this is awkward. I didn't see you there. I gotta get my mac and cheese off the top shelf. I wish I wasn't so short. I wouldn't have this many problems. But being short gives me an excuse to jump on the counters. Huh. Got it! Okay, while I make my mac and cheese, let's go to today's shark scoop. Hi guys, I mean, hey guys, I'm doing my laundry. It is such an honor to receive this award today. I have worked very hard for the last two years to get this to this point in my life. And I'd like to thank my parents for being very supportive, my advisor, Ms. Setterberg, for, being, for helping me towards my goals, and my friend, Wandi, Tatiana, and Kayla, oh, and Gannon, for being there for me. I will continue to work hard to strive to my goals. Thank you once again. Congratulations, Jaden. Now let's meet the nominees for Best High School Male Announcer. Mulberry, Mark Cornett. Lake Gibson, Juan Ramos Perez. Kathleen, Austin Holloway. George Jenkins, Derek Winninger. East Area Adult, Byron Washington. Fort Meade, Hector Gonzalez. Ridge Community, Darius Reynolds. Winter Haven, Bo Moore. Lake Region, Calvin Hunt. Bartow, Justin Barnes. 
Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Male Announcer, Ms. Iris Denner from Lawton Childs Middle Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the best high school male announcers in the nation. Maestro, drum roll please as our student of the year announces our winner. And the ITV award goes to Kathleen Senior. <laughs> This is Kathleen Sr.'s second win and ninth nomination for male announcer. Being a high schooler is no easy task. Sometimes all the aspects can be overwhelming. Struggles among high school students include many things. Things like classwork, extracurricular activities, and even just getting through the day. It may seem like a lot, but I promise you, you can do it. I'm Austin Holloway, and I'll be your high school survival guide. Let's get started. Winning this award is something that I've looked forward to for a very long time. Ever since joining this program, I've looked up to the multiple talented reporters who represent Ignition TV in the past and I aspired to evolve as a reporter and an anchor into an on-camera personality that can intrigue and entertain an audience. This trophy does not just represent my efforts, though. I'd like to start off by thanking the entire Ignition TV crew, especially Peter Perez and Steven Reynolds for always being on hand to help with my segments. I'd like to also thank last year's winning male solo and one of my best friends, Pedro Lugo, for helping me break out of my shell and hone my talents. Yep. Also, thank you to my parents who forfeited lots of family events so I could pursue this goal. And finally, I want to thank my advisor and mentor, Mr. Gash, for all the late nights that he spent in support of our success. Thank you, and I love you all. Congratulations, Kathleen. Please welcome to the stage the incendiary announcing team from Kathleen Sr. Peter Perez and Gavin Hawthorne. The popularity of MTV ushered in a new generation of songwriters and directors collaborating to produce unbelievable music videos. Like the professional counterparts, our students must traverse the complicated world of copyright law to produce these fine pieces of art. Here are the nominees for Best Music Video. Lake Alfred Adair, Scream. Daniel Jenkins Academy, Dress Code Rap. Blake Academy, Lollipops, Gun Drops, and The Flu. Kathleen, Get to Work. Jewett Academy, Don't Stress It, You've Got It. Lake Gibson, Zombie School. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Music Video, Ms. Lindsay Back from Lakeland Highlands Middle. The award goes to Kathleen Middle, get to work. This is Kathleen Middle's first win and fourth nomination for music video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Since you wanna talk, 
How about you teach the class? I'm Kenny, the class of the clowns. The way that I die, we know I don't mind around. All of these A's that I get, stay in the gym so you know that I'm fit. Paying attention. <laughs> we would like to thank all administration and teachers that helped out with this project, and especially Mr. Hero. See, I really wanted to give up on this project. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It was stressful, it was hard, and whew, a lot of edges been sweated. I'm just like, but um, I just would like to thank everybody here for coming out and supporting all the great kids. And I just wanna let y'all know, if y'all got a dream, go for it. Cause we got ours, let's go. Congratulations. Now let's meet the nominees for Best High School Music Video. Lakeland, Staying Off the Streets. Mulberry, To See You Smile. Kathleen, Learn This Way. Barto. Twin Machines. Lake Gibson, Brave Battle. George Jenkins, Destiny. Lake Region, Legend of Thunder. Ridge Community, I Don't Know What I'm Doing. Winter Haven, Accept each other. Auburndale, live and learn. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Music Video, Ms. Ariel Gortman from Mulberry Senior. And the ITV Award goes to Winter Haven Senior. <laughs> This is Winter Haven Senior's fifth win and 15th nomination for music video. Yeah, yeah. stand up, Winter Haven. It's all about love. We gotta love each other. No time for the hate. Yeah. Yeah. We got no time to be hating one another. No, no time to be throwing all the shade. Stand up, we gotta love each other. In the end, it's all the same. I come from one, you come from another. Doesn't mean we can be sisters and brothers. We gotta learn how to accept each other. Without love, we're all going under. Around my life, people always put me down. It felt so hard, I can never rebound. Putting on a mask, faking my smile. For people who would never walk the extra mile. Now I find myself accepting who I am, my value, my worth. Stand up, we gotta love each other Cause in the end it's all the same I come from when you come from another Doesn't mean we can be sisters and brothers We gotta learn how to accept each other Without love, we're all going under At school is where learning takes place But for me and my testament, it wasn't the case Every day I came, I wasn't treated the same I got laughed at and ridiculed for using my brain Despite the adversity, I just kept working hard because it works for me. I'm sticking with the program, now I'm going. Um, first, we would like to thank ITV Awards for having us tonight. We would also like to thank all the staff and administrators at Winter Haven High School for supporting us. And of course, we can't forget about our BDTV family and our supporter and motivator, Mrs. Mizell. She has helped us <laughs> learn and develop as journalists and as human beings. We thank you very much for this award. As it means so much to us. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations, Winter Haven. Please welcome to the stage the wonderful announcing team from Jewett Middle Academy, Elias Santiago and Ellie Marshall. Commercials can be more than just a marketing tool. They can make us laugh, cry, or inspire us to make a change in the world. 
but above all else, they are able to accomplish this in under 60 seconds. Here are the nominees for Best Commercial. Stambaugh, Teenage Ninja Warrior. Southwest, Lights of Lakeland. Lake Alfred Adair, the crossover book trailer. Kathleen, positive thinking. Crystal Lake, CLMS Marine Science Backpacks. Lake Academy, jump into a book 2.0. Daniel Jenkins Academy, am I really a bully? Citrus Ridge Academy, Civics Pop-Up Quiz Show. Jewett Academy, don't miss your chance. Lake Gibson, Crime Stoppers Rap. Davenport School of the Arts, Shoe Fairy. Fort Meade, Generation of Change. Lakeland Highlands, Math Count. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Middle School Commercial, Mr. Dominique Boyd from Stambaugh Middle. This year, we had two commercials that our judges had difficulty deciding which was best. When you hear your name announced, please bring your school to the front of the stage steps. Presenters, please tell us who our first nominee is. The first nominee is Davenport School of the Arts Middle, Shoe Fairy. Too sparkly. Too old. Um, is this even mine? I have so many pairs of shoes, I don't know what to do with any of them. Ew, what is that smell? Have no fear, your Shoe Fairy is here. Well, since you're here, can you like, get rid of these? Sure, sweetie. And while we're at it, why don't we help somebody else? How do I do that? Starting now until January 10th, the leadership team will be collecting shoes in your home room. Is that what those boxes are for? Yes, indeed. The shoes to you boxes in your home room were created by our very own leadership team. So I can really make a difference with just a pair of shoes? And if that's not enough inspiration for you guys, the class with the most pairs of shoes will receive a pizza party. Well, I'm going to be someone's shoe fairy. Are you? Presenters, tell us who our second nominee is. The second school is Fort Meade Middle, Generation of Change. Think of all the children in the world. From North America to Africa to Asia. Nobody wants to be judged or stereotyped by their race, gender, or beliefs. There are black kids, white kids, Hispanic kids, and more. They are females, males, and transgenders. And we shouldn't judge other lifestyles. We can't base the world's differences on one set of beliefs or perspective. We all have different talents and gifts, and our differences should be applauded, not taunted. Instead of seeing color, let's see humanity. Instead of seeing differences, let's find similarities. We as children are the generation of change and evolution. We must adjust our world to make peace. No one should have to be judged on how they feel and why they feel it. We are the inspiration. This is our cause. This is our calling. This, this is, is our generation. generation. This, this is us. Now it's time for you to decide. Refer to the screens for instructions on how to cast your vote. Come on, everyone, get your phones out. <clears throat> I know everyone in here has phones. <laughs> if you're watching from home, remember you can still vote. Just follow the instructions on your screen. There's still more time to vote. Everyone get out your phones. It's really close. Come on, guys, vote, vote. Oh 
And the People's Choice Award for Middle School Commercial is Davenport. Congratulations. Please see one of our marshals to receive your plaque. We want to first of all thank our parents for supporting our crazy dreams and letting us work after school, during school, before school. And Mr. and Mrs. Wilma for teaching us how to do all this awesome, amazing video production. We also want to thank our administrators for also always being there for us and supporting us and allowing us to do this on your school grounds. Thank you. Presenters, please tell us who the judges chose for best middle school commercial. It goes to Davenport School of the Middle Arts, Shoe Fairy. This is Davenport School of the Arts' second win and seventh nomination for commercial. Congratulations, Davenport School of the Arts. Now let's meet the nominees for Best High School Commercial. Bridge Community. Disconnect to Connect. Mulberry. Breast Cancer Awareness. Kathleen. Distractions. Winter Haven, Empty Seats. Auburndale, Rumors. Barto, Commercial Number One. East Area Adult, The Right Stuff. George Jenkins, It Can Wait. Fort Meade, Suicide Awareness. Lake Gibson, Needs to Go. Lakeland, Dreadnought Sunglasses. Lake Region, Is It Worth It? Now presenting the ITV Award for Best High School Commercial, Ms. Maya Gonzalez from Ridge Community Senior and Ms. Kirsten Ayers from Fort Meade Senior. Just like the middle schools, this year we had two commercials that our judges had difficulty deciding which was best. When you hear your name announced, please bring your school to the front of the stage steps. Presenters, tell us who our first nominee is. Our first nominee is Fort Meade Senior Suicide Awareness. Presenters, please tell us who our second nominee is. Nominee two, Winter Haven Senior, Empty Seats.
Don't let another life fade away. Now it's time for you to decide. Refer to the screens for instructions on how to cast your vote. Remember, even if you're at home, you can still vote and help out your school. Come on, Fort Meade. I know there's more of you out there. Looks like Winter Haven's still in the lead. Fort Meade, you can still do it. Come on. This is going to be a close race. Every vote counts. Choice Award for High School Commercial is Winter Haven. Congratulations. Please see one of our marshals to receive your plaque. Presenters, please tell us who the judges chose for best high school commercial. And the ITV award goes to Winter Haven. This is Winter Haven Senior's third win and 15th nomination for commercial. Hi, wow, this is amazing. Okay, I just wanna thank Ms. Mizell and all of BDTV for being patient with me throughout making this. And then also I want to give a special thanks to um, Lucas Reyna because he like really helped me with all this and like filming and refilming and filming and refilming several times and this is, this is just amazing, so thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Our last category for the evening is announced a little differently. When you hear your school's name among the nominees, please send the TV teacher and one student to the front of the stage to be recognized. Please welcome to the stage the incredible announcing team from Lake Region Senior, Stephanie Bautista and Danya Skipper. Throughout the night, you have seen some of the components that go into producing a daily news show. All of these elements come together to help the students stay informed about current events. These are your nominees for the best daily news show. Daniel Jenkins Academy. Blake Academy. Jewett Academy, Southwest, Kathleen, Lakeland Highlands, Davenport School of the Arts, Lake Gibson, Crystal Lake, Stambaugh, Lake Alfred Adair, Westwood. Now presenting the ITV Award for Middle School Daily News Show, Ms. Chastity Reddick from Westwood Middle and Mr. Braden Salavo from Fort Meade Middle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for the best middle school news shows in the nation. We will now reveal the schools who have received a score between 90 and 100 percent. Presenters, please unveil our superior news shows. The first superior goes to Davenport School of Arts Middle. Yeah. 
The second superior goes to Lake Gibson Middle. The superior news show for number three goes to Kathleen Middle. The fourth superior goes to Lake Alfred Adair Middle. The fifth and final superior goes to Jewett Middle School Academy. As our schools receive their trophies and make their way off the stage, please take a moment to look at the screen for our excellent rated news shows that scored between 80 and 89%. Congratulations to all of our winning middle schools. Now, let's meet the nominees for Best High School Daily News Show. Remember, when you hear your school name among the nominees, please send the TV teacher and one student to the front of the stage to be recognized. Tenor Rock. Auburndale, Winter Haven, East Area Adult, Lake Gibson, Kathleen, Ridge Community, Fort Meade. Bartow. George Jenkins. Mulberry. Now presenting the ITV Award for High School Daily News Show, Mr. Andrew Ellis from Tenorock Senior and Mr. Lucas Reyna from Winter Haven Senior. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for the best high school news shows in the nation. We will now reveal the schools who have received a score between 90 and 100%. Presenters, please unveil our high school superior news shows. And the ITV award goes to Kathleen Senior. Winter Haven Senior High School. As our schools receive their trophies and make their way off the stage, please take a moment to look at the screens for our excellent news shows that scored between 80 and 89%. Congratulations to all of our winning high schools. Each year, we recognize teachers that have given 10 years of service to ITV. This year, we have the honor of recognizing Mr. Dan Russo from Stambaugh Middle. Please come to the stage to receive your plaque and iPad for your program, and thank you for your service. I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, teach TV production. Uh, it's a, a passion and something that I, I really, really enjoy. Um, I'm going to be brief, and my wife and my students and everybody are going to be shocked that I'm going to be brief. Um, <laughs> but um, really, I just want to say uh, thank you to the ITV department, uh, an outstanding group of people. Please give them a, an applause. Uh, because without them, we don't have anything and we can't get anything done. Those people are amazing. That whole crew uh, are just incredible. And I really appreciate everything that they do for us and do for me and our students and our staff. Um, it's, a, it's a great, wonderful opportunity that Polk County gives us to have 
this program and to put this program on uh, for all these years. Uh, you guys have an amazing opportunity to excel and show your, your uh, uh, what you can do and your abilities to do things. So I, I really appreciate the opportunity and appreciate the opportunity to be doing this for so long and I hope to do it for a few more years ahead. Thank you very much. Please take a look at the screen to see the ITV teachers who were the nominees for Teacher or School Related Employee of the Year. We would like to congratulate one of the TV teachers from our Bruce Wagner, Mrs. Lois Horn Diaz, for becoming the 2017 Polk County Teacher of the Year. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get a television production program off the ground. That's why we created the Michael Robertson Most Improved Award. This school has shown the most progress from the previous year. When you hear your name called, please come to the stage to receive your certificate. Presenting this award tonight, we are honored to welcome back to our stage, Mr. Michael Robertson. Good evening, everyone, once again. Thank you for coming, and this has been a beautiful evening, and it is truly an honor to have the most improved television program named after me, and uh, here we go. For middle school, the most improved program, Blake Academy Middle. Mr. Robertson, please tell us who won our high school Most Improved Award. The Michael Robertson Most Improved Award goes to Ridge Community Senior. Congratulations. Our most distinguished honor of the evening is the Dr. David Yates Best in Show Award. Unfortunately, Dr. Yates could not be with us tonight due to traveling. However, he will be joining us by live video feed. Please welcome the creator of video awards, Dr. David Yates. And the Best in Show for 2017 for middle schools is... Lake Gibson! Thank you so much. Um, I would really just like to thank um, our administrations for being so supportive, my family and friends who help us out and, and let us be gone so I can um, work with the kids, um, this great team behind us, and I know they are with me when I say I would like to um, accept this award on behalf of Samara Routenberg and Lisa Fullerat, who we lost earlier this year. So thank you so very much. Congratulations, Lake Gibson. Dr. Yates, now please tell us who won our high school Best in Show Award. And the 2017 Best in Show for high schools is... Kathleen! <laughs> I'd like to start off by saying that I am extremely proud of my classmates and Ignition TV. Representing Ignition TV tonight as their student of the year is more of a privilege than I could ever ask for. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone who supported me throughout the year. I would personally like to thank my family and my girlfriend Eileen. I'd also like to give a huge thanks 
to the incredible crew of Ignition TV. We've all been through a lot this year. Also, thank you so much to our advisor, Mr. Gash. I'd especially like to thank two people in particular, Peter Perez and Brianna McKinney. These two have been by my side all year, and I cannot thank you enough both. I really couldn't have asked for a better team to work with. This year was tough, but I believe that it has only made us stronger. I would like to thank my parents for being so encouraging, understanding, and giving me the opportunity to really do what I love. I would also like to thank these two right next to me. I really couldn't be more proud. I would also like to thank my mentor, Mr. Gash. Without you, none of us would be up here. So thank you for your time and your dedication into seeing us succeed. Boom, boom. <laughs> Uh, with it being my last year in Ignition TV, it is a dream come true to win Best in Show. With all the hard work put in by this crew, whether it's planning, scripting, filming, editing, and everything in between, the determination they have is amazing. <laughs> I'd like to thank God for giving my parents the strength for dealing with me this year. Thank you, Mr. Gash, for being one of the best mentors, and thank you to this team for the support, friendship, and making this night very special. I'm on your head. Sorry, thank you. Uh, it, re it really is an honor uh, to receive this award. It does represent endless hours of work and dedication by this crew. They've worked so hard this year, and I'm really just, I, words cannot express how proud I am of all of them. I am so thankful to God for the blessing of working with them, honored to be their advisor, and to teach them, to work with them, and to even learn from them every day. Um, I'm astounded by their commitment, grateful for how they allow me to, to give into their lives and how they give into this program. Thank you to all of the individuals who've helped us uh, with these entries. Thank you to our administration, especially all the teachers who allow these students to work throughout classes and throughout uh, a lot of other things going on on campus. Thank you to all of our parents out there who give up of your time with your kids so they can be with us. Um, that is a huge sacrifice, and without that, we couldn't be here tonight. Um, and finally, I'd like to thank my own, uh, my own family. Thank you for your love, for your support, wisdom, and so much more. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you all. Congratulations, Kathleen. Our final award for the evening celebrates a school's year-long commitment to following the best practices of a television production program. Please welcome to the stage Dr. Tina Berrios, Assistant Superintendent and Mrs. Christy Devane, Director of School Technology Services. As we close our ceremony this evening, we are excited to announce a new award recognition for secondary schools. The middle and high school recognized tonight have demonstrated a grand effort to produce a daily news show, which follows a minimum of the 75% of the ITV Best Standards, submit three new shows and videos for at least two other categories in the Video Awards competition, follow the digital video production curriculum, and most importantly, build portfolios with industry certifications, industry standard certifications, giving students the skills to compete in a global economy, and combine the two schools tonight, students at those schools, received and earned 328 television production industry certifications, which is awesome. As your school name is called tonight, please have the ITV teacher and a school administrator come up and accept a plaque. For middle school, Lakeland Highlands Middle. It's really an honor. Uh, I really wasn't expecting this at all. Um, I would like to thank Ms. Um, Kendrick and the entire CBTV uh, crew at Lakeland Highlands Middle School. I would also like to thank uh, all the parents for giving us the opportunity to work with great kids. Thank you. And for our, and for our senior uh, high school, Kathleen Sr. Let me take a moment to say something that's on my heart, which is that uh, I, I'm a student of this program. 
uh, from Lake Gibson and from, from Lake Gibson Middle, Lake Gibson High School. I worked, uh, had an opportunity to work throughout college um, with ITV and learned and then got an opportunity to teach uh, at Kathleen High School for the last seven years. Um, this program changes lives. You know that because you're here. So to our school board and to all the people who helped to keep this program alive and, and say, you know what, there's a lot going on at the state level, there's a lot going on uh, with education in our world, but creativity changes lives, right? And thank you for supporting that. Thank you for letting us create and letting these students do things that are gonna matter so much in their lives. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of our winners. We hope you had a wonderful evening. Don't forget to pick up your certificates before you leave. They are located at the doors. Senior is on that side of the sanctuary, and middle is on the other side. We'll see you next year at the 2018 Polk County Video Awards. Good night.